Hello, fabulous Aries. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of June 2016, Love Focus. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. This month, we have a new moon happening early in the month, and it's taking place hand in hand with Venus in the sky, goddess of love in the sky. And this particular new moon is also setting up what astrologers are calling a mutable grand cross. It is speaking with, on the one side, Neptune, on the other side, Jupiter, and across the sky, Saturn. Now, wherever a new moon goes, it's like sort of viscerally and emotionally, so goes our most pressing issue. It's like, okay, we have to deal with this if we're gonna be okay on an emotional level. You add to this, the goddess of love is right there as well. Well, this is new realizations, new insights, and new beginnings that are coming on in matters of love due to some moments of honesty. And also, I gotta say, there's a sense here of confusion, perhaps disappointment as well, that ultimately will allow us to see ourselves in love that much more clearly. And it really is set off with conversation. It's all about talking it out. It's all about having that conversation. And it is through conversation that we are set to experience and to accept some possibly, and in some cases, some difficult truths about ourselves, but very necessary if we are going to move towards the love that we truly desire. If you are in an established bond, this particular sky to me says that there is a need to accept and maybe to have these key negotiations, conversations with your partner that will allow some uh, shifting of roles, if you will, that will allow some saying of, okay, wow, I had this expectation, but maybe that wasn't fair. Yeah, you're right. I don't think that that was very fair. And I also had this certain expectation, but I think that this is foundational. Like these are the types of conversations that become possible with the sky like this. And wherever it is that you have been getting caught up in a certain energy that maybe hasn't been very fair, hasn't been very nice to your partner, this is gonna be that chance to get honest with yourself, to sit with yourself and say, okay, what's really going on? What is the confusion about? What's the disappointment about? And where is it now that you're ready to accept something, even if it's hard to do so? Now, sometimes that acceptance is a little bit more personal, as may be the case if you're either in a committed bond or even just getting to know somebody. As I look at this, it may be that um, there have been some things that have been not addressed for a while now, and they have been kind of simmering under the surface and they've led to some sense of frustration you are going to have to look at it. You are going to have to deal with it and it will come out. It will be talked about. <laughs> That's what happens when you have a new moon in this part of the sky. And especially if you want the love to be made stronger, they must be discussed. They must come out with this particular sky as well. Like if you were to tell me Nadia, my relationship is awesome. Everything's great. I'm not even relating to that or thinking along those lines, then it may be a situation that is, uh, or a conversation as well that is less than ideal that needs to be accepted. It could be that all of a sudden you find yourself really busy and it's pressing on your relationship, um, that you have to be a lot more active, that you've gotta be out and about a lot more. Now remember, there is this element there with this sky of things being um, sort of not clear, okay? So make sure you're checking any assumptions and also that your partner as well, if your partner comes to you and thinks that they saw a certain email or thinks that they uh, saw you talking to somebody, um, very likely it'll be a misunderstanding, but what you wanna do is you wanna squash it as soon as possible. For those of you who are open to meeting someone new, with a sky like this, it's very possible absolutely to meet somebody. However, what I'm seeing is that if connections happen, what you see is not necessarily what you get and not necessarily what you're gonna get. So it's really important with a sky like this to um, make sure as soon as possible that if you meet somebody online, which is sort of the increasing way that people meet now in the modern world, but if you meet somebody online, what you wanna do is make sure that that is the person that you indeed are talking to, right? You see a picture? Well, it's not enough to just have a phone conversation. 
and even a video conversation as a possibility as well. But what you want to do is as soon as possible, make sure that this is indeed the person that you believe you're talking to. Um, and also, even if it is that very person, it is sometimes a little challenging to really verify things about the person's background, right? So you want to be honest. You don't want to seem like you're, you know, coming at it. You don't want to be that Saturn where you're coming at it as, you know, I've got to fact check and I've got to make sure. Um, but at the same time, it's really important to pay attention to subtle cues, to observe yourself, to see how you're communicating, how that other person is communicating, and basically what makes sense and what doesn't. It really is that simple as I look at this. If you're meeting new people, what makes sense with the people you're meeting and what doesn't seem to be making sense. If you can do that, just having that appreciation and that clarity, that can make all the difference in terms of your romantic experiences this month. But the likelihood is there, I gotta say, of course, right? I'm always gonna be um, honest with you. I'm always gonna be frank with you. Um, the likelihood is there for things not to be as they are initially presented to you. And the likelihood is there as well for you to realize that. And that is the great gift. All of us ultimately want love. We all want love. And some of us go about it in ways that do invite greater love towards us. And some of us go about it in a way where as much as we want love, we're also pushing that love away. It's important to be conscious of where you are fitting in with that and where other people are also fitting in with that understanding. And ultimately it is through having that clarity and having that moment of self-honesty that you'll be able to move yourself towards a love consciously chosen by you, a love that you know you truly want.